This is the second video from the uh, Carlson Working with Surfaces article that uh, I wrote to accompany this. And I want to talk about brake lines in this video because they're, they're obviously necessary but kind of misunderstood um, with surface generation. The white lines you'll see uh, in this project are the brake lines. And uh, these were applied after the surface was made and then in an effort to have it behave better and most importantly work well with the blade when it's coming across this surface. Now there are some of the pretty typical uh, brake lines uh, that have to be added. This is one where we talked about a contour only road having this high point in it that you really can't catch on the sides that well because it would have made it flat here if you just looked at the contours. So um, uh, our engineer uh, Chad Lawson came in and, and uh, not only put this centerline brake line in to kind of give the road a decent crown, but also added this here to smooth that out. And we'll take a look at that in 3D in a minute. Um, uh, other things that happen, these are being brought down to kind of get the water to flow correctly through the, um, uh, through the parking lot and also make sure that they work around the parking islands as well. Now you'll see this brake line kind of runs through the parking lot um, and crosses the island. Now what we try to do is grade the parking lot so it works well and when they come and put the curb back in later, um, this is extruded curb so it's set on curb uh, in, at least in this area, um, the water can go around it. You can see that the engineer uh, had the intention of doing that but we just tightened this up and made it work better. Um, a couple areas here. Um, this is a flat pad um, here, and also we've got another one here. This is handicap parking in this area, so we've got to meet um, ADA requirements so we make sure that those slopes are correct. Um, again, we're just moving water, uh, sloping this thing so it does what it's supposed to, but most importantly, when a blade gets flipped in automatic and it runs through the thing, we don't have any issues. Let's take a quick look at the surface here and see uh, uh, what it looks like. Now, what I like to do with surfaces, especially when this one's kind of flat, is I'm going to take and, and really kind of accentuate the vertical scale. I'm going to increase it to five at least on this one and let's take a look and see uh, what we've got. Now obviously this low point here is uh, a little bit more pronounced than it was and you know sometimes it helps to um, turn off the, um, the shading, look at the wireframe only. So you've got a couple different options on how to view these things and some work for uh, certain aspects better than others. In this one we can see the curb here is real nice. Um, there's that roadway that uh, we came into at the beginning. Let me see if I can get that up for you here. And you'll see how that low point in the road right across here uh, was built in and if that hadn't been caught that would have been a flat spot and uh, kind of a mess especially with the the storm going in a little bit lower like that, there would have been no reason that it looked like it belonged there. Um, and we have some other here. Um, now we do the solid returns that are islands and peninsulas like this one that are larger. The others we just grade right through because that's how it's going to be done in the field and we want to do it the same way. So whenever you get a chance to work on a job and add brake lines, start a little bit conservative and then just kind of keep adding more to make this thing do what you want it to do and you'll find that fewer brake lines are necessary if they're placed correctly um, this one kind of pulls water towards the middle that's great that's the main drainage for this area of the parking lot and then you've got subtleties like this where you need to move water but you've also got to have a pretty decent uh, driving area because this is a major entrance and exit here so it's got to be pretty smooth and you need to respect uh, areas like this walkway here um, 
we've got these ADA ramps. Now these were done 2D. We didn't build these 2D for this one because um, the client's going to build those in even though we did put the pad and the sidewalk in around them. Um, but a real easy way to approach this is to see where the problems are and then chip away at each one individually. Get the brake lines in to make that part work. And then when you're done with all these little areas, these tiny spots, make sure that everything works together. And sometimes we'll end up doing something like this where you'll take what this brake line did, which was extend from here over. You need to run it back to this corner to give it a little bit better definition so there isn't a flat spot here. Just little things that are going to help make life a lot easier for you. Good luck, happy modeling, and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks.